I think I just found something. You know when I said I think I'm missing something from this room? I think I found something. So it's like you come here and they're like, oh, a lot of these things are useless, but there's actually a document on top of this box. Let's see, set the dial to A to mix the liquid. Set the dial to B to separate the liquid. This must be the manual for the centrifuge. This device is used to mix and separate liquids. Place two test tubes with liquid into the machine. The centrifuge will mix them and output the mixture into one beaker. Place the one beaker with the liquid into the machine. The centrifuge will separate the liquid into two test tubes. Aha, so maybe that's how we get more colors. All right. I swear, I, I knew there was something that we hadn't clicked on yet. It's not the first time this happened. You remember there was that one time when there was, uh, was it the clock on the wall, 999, that I didn't see? And that's what caused problems. And then there was another time with the, uh, the drawer in another room. Anyway. And the beaker's in place. Let's start the separating process. Looks like they cleanly separated. So what do we get? We got a red liquid test tube. And a white liquid test tube. So now if we put a green one in, and the beaker's in place, let's start the separating process. Looks like they cleanly separated. And we got a blue, and a yellow, and we need an orange, blue, and white. Uh, we don't have orange. We have blue and white, but we don't have orange. We have red and yellow. Can we combine red and yellow to make... Hmm. It's a white liquid. Do you really go taller when you drink a lot of milk? Uh, let's make sure no one tries to take this accidentally, okay? It's a red liquid. Kind of looks like blood. I'm not so sure about this. It's a blue liquid. I thought blue blood ran through veins when I was... Oh, sorry, that's her, not him. I thought blue blood ran through veins when I was little. It's a yellow liquid. Lemonade? Are you serious? <laughs> but we still don't have the right colors. We have... We have blue and white. Let's put this test tube in. Uh, this is spot for one more. All right, let's use the other color that we don't need, which is the red one. Now the second test tube, let's mix them. Is this gonna make me my color? It looks like it's fully mixed. Orange. Orange, yes, we got it. Sweet, so now we have the three colors. Hopefully the test tubes will work for this. So let's spin around to this thing here. And we need orange. And then we need blue. And then we need the white. Yay, we did it. What the heck? Why am I looking at what looks to be like a baby in a test tube? No matter how bad the situation is, giving up solving a problem always cheers you up. Yes, it always does. That is true. Huh? There's something in there. I'm sorry, that was the other guy. Uh, specimen cylinder. It looks like there's a human fetus inside. Ew. A uh, uh, fetus? A fetus? What's wrong? Why are you turning your head away like that? We just... Oh, that is so... Why? 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 This is a human fetus specimen. I think it died before birth. Oh, uh, I always think too much about these kinds of things and then get all sad. Are you crying? That, that's... But we do have, I think, we can now use that thing over here. Yay, a perfect fit. But nothing's happening. Maybe the positions are wrong. H how do we know what the positions are, though? Maybe there's the right order for these. Let's see if we can change them around. How? Like, the only other note we have is the lines. But I don't see anything here that can have lines. By the way, I'm still sad that there's a flightless bird trapped in this. So, this one can't be moved. So, this, is, this should be just an easy um, uh, trial and error, right? 
So if plant is here, we mix these two things here, and we hit check. Oh, it's gonna kick me out every time. So maybe not so easy. Huh, what should we do? Maybe there's something we need to follow here. Are there any clues lying around? I'm almost positive I can brute force this. You know, just move, start with the, start with the, uh, the baby, um, and then move these around, and then move these around, and then put the seahorse here, and then move these around, then change out the, uh, the plant for the seahorse. That's gotta take a long time now. It's probably about, I don't know, 60 different combinations if I had to guess off the top of my head. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. But what clues do we have? We have orange, blue, white in dishes. And then we have the colors. And then we have this. But how do we know? Did we see a clue anywhere? That looks like a clue. What are these symbols? Five symbols with five colors, all different. It could be a hint. Okay, let me write this down. So we have, we have what looks to be a yellow bird. We have a purple or pink, purplish pink. I'm gonna write that purplish pink uh, fish, shark, looks like a shark. <clears throat> We have a white bug. Could be a mosquito. We have a red sun. I have no idea what the sun is. And we have a blue person. Okay. I think I've seen these. Oh, I know. It's referring to the specimens on the shelf. Fish, plant, insect, bird, and human we just got. You're right, it's each category. Fish, plant, insect, bird. Okay, I don't know what that other symbol is. But let's go here. And what we know is the, the flightless bird is first. The next is a shark. Could be a sea animal. So a seahorse. The third one's a bug. But I can't move the bug. I can't move the bug. What should we do? There's no hint. Um, maybe I have to do it this way. So like right to left. So you have the bug. Um, you have the bird? No, because the shark has to go next. I'm dropping stuff all over the place. Um, This one I can't move. It's a problem. This one is probably the red sun. So this is a red sun. So the person has to be here. The bird has to be here. The shark has to be here. Then I got this plant. I don't get it. Fish, plant, insect, bird, and the human we just got. But she's saying them out of order. Or maybe she's not saying them out of order. Maybe that is the correct order. So instead of a bird, it's a fish. And then a plant. And then insect. And then bird. And then human. 
But that doesn't make any sense because the fourth item you can't move. This puzzle is very confusing. Probably because you just can't move this, uh, you can't move this one. So let's try that order. Fish, plant, insect, which we can't move. Bird, which we can't do anything about. And then humans on the end. See, I can't move the insect. This is so annoying. Come on, flatless bird. Calm down. Become one with the other flatless bird here. Try to figure this out. Think, think, think. What if it was fish? And then... Bird. And then the humans last. I don't get it. What am I doing wrong? I've seen these, I know. It's referring to specimens on the shelf. Fish. Plant. See, she's doing them out of order. The red has to be the plant. But you can't move the fourth specimen. Fish, plant, insect, bird, and human. Fish, plant, insect, bird. Why are you saying them out of order? That's so annoying. Why can't you just say them like they're in order? Like bird, fish, insect. Okay, I'm gonna write this down because I know this is correct. It's bird, fish, insect, uh, plant, and human. The only problem is I can't move the insect. See, I can't move this. Scientists require the specimen to be categorized and put in the proper place. All but the butterfly can be shifted to another position. You see, that's a problem. It doesn't make any sense if I can't move the insect because the insect is clearly number three according to that chart. Fish. No, it's bird. Fish. Insect. Plant human. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe we have to use the colors on the other thing over here first. It's the only thing left I can think of. And if this doesn't work, I may have to actually look this up because I honestly don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Um, yellow, purple, pink. There is no purple or pink. White, red, blue. The four buttons are blue, yellow, red, and white. Are there any clues like that? There's no point trying to play with it. Let's search the room. I... I'm... There's no other place for us to use liquids. This thing doesn't work. We need to open this up somehow. This thing right here is giving me a clue, but the clue doesn't make any sense. I mean, even the colors. Well, it could be yellow, red, blue, white. I'm gonna write this down. 
yellow, red, blue, white, or it could mean yellow, white, red, blue. Okay, let me try the new, the new four color thing. Yellow, red, blue, white. 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 I, I... Well, like I said, I'm... I'm completely stumped. I give it my best shot, but I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know why I can't move this uh, plant specimen. And the only thing I can do is probably just brute force it. But if I'm going to brute force it, I might as well just go look at the correct answer online. Because at that point, it's the same thing. I mean, you're not figuring out because you're smart. You're figuring out because you're just, you know, overriding the, uh, the puzzle. Um... I'm gonna try for like a few more minutes to see if I can figure this out and if I can't I'm gonna go online look so I'll be back shortly one way or another okay after numerous uh, times search around this room trying to figure something out I I couldn't figure anything the order doesn't seem to match up um, I can't seem to open up the locker nothing seems to work so I went online and I found out that um, if you use these vials here, they're actually clear. Two cells and the blue liquid attached to cut in two. So basically what we need to do is we need to look at each of these colors here and see their groupings, which is not something I would have. I mean, I, I tried this, the, the beakers, but the beakers were too blurry, so I figured we had to get the water to work. And by getting the water to work, we clean the lens. But in actuality, you have to break these down into oh. test tubes. And look, then look at them inside the test tube. All the cells on white liquid are by themselves. So blue is two. White is one. And then what I'm assuming is you go here. And you take apart the orange one to get the two other colors. And we got yellow and red. And then we come here. Red is three. So when I go look online for like answers, I try to look at very little as possible. So I just read like, okay, I did this, done this, done this. Oh, here's something I didn't do. And then I stop there. So this is what I read. And yellow seems to be five. So we have groupings, and we know that this thing requires color groupings, but is it the right colors? Yellow, blue, red, and white. Yes, it does. The only problem is there's five of them. I mean, there's five etches. So if I go blue two, and then white one, oh, it doesn't matter, okay. Red three, and then yellow five. There we go. All right, we got something, we got progress. Yay, it's unlocked. Good job, pretty amazing for a kid your age. Ugh, I won't lose next time. So, so far in Zero Time Dilemma, I am one for one in puzzles in this game. Not the best, not the best odds so far, but considering how in Ding Rapa V3, I didn't get any of them. You know, I'll take one. No reason to look at this now. Oh, we need to get the locker. What's this box? Huh, transparent specimens. I think we can fit all these in the box. Let's find out. What is this? Um. What am I looking at? Cool. 
Complete the puzzle. Specimens are very important to scientists and researchers. Each red X matches up with the blue one. Can you solve this while making sure all the specimens fit inside? Each piece can be rotated. Okay, so this is like the puzzle we did recently. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, so how did I solve the last one? The last one I solved by looking at the big pieces first. So if I look at this piece here, it probably doesn't go there because it's coming up those two. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. What? Game. Can you like overlap them? Ah, you can overlap them. I mean, unless you overlap them, there's no way to make this work, right? I mean, this piece here is too big to fit anywhere. Yeah, this piece here is too big to fit anywhere. I don't think it's, I don't think I'm doing it right. This just seems too easy. Alright, already I'm stuck because of this piece. How? Each red X matches up with the blue one. But this one doesn't fit anywhere. It doesn't fit anywhere. You see, this this to me is just bad instructions. Because it doesn't tell you can your pieces overlap or anything like that. Each red X matches up with the blue one. Can you solve this while making sure all the specimens fit inside? So each red X matches a blue blue one, but it doesn't say if they can overlap or not. How many X's do we have? We had three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. S but. I mean. There's no way. I can do this. Without. Try and see if the X's look different based on the way they're put on the uh Because if you notice there is some distortion in the way the X's look. And if they are supposed to truly line up, then maybe the X will be fully over the X. Moving these things around is not easy. Hmm. That theory is not working. Because that looks like the best fit, but it's still not fully overlapped. That one looks like it fully overlaps, though. So. 
I'm... All right, I'm gonna play around with this. I'll be back in a few minutes because obviously this is gonna take some work. Oh, I'm such an idiot. The snake can fit here without overlapping any other other X. Why? I, I think this room has really kicked my butt so much that this obvious thing was not obvious to me. But after a lot of trying to figure out what to do with this piece, I finally figured out where to put this piece. So now that we know where this big one goes, hopefully we can finish out the other ones. Uh, there is a blue X here, and there is a four, a four by two. So if we look at this, that's not gonna work. This, could this work? No, that's not gonna work. That's not going to work. Um. That could work. That's not going to work. And that could work, but probably not because there's no other place to put anything. Darn it. Okay, so this is probably gonna go here. So this three by three spot is probably going to be Well, no, it's, it's not that one. Okay, that one would work. Now, where would this big fish go? The big fish could go there. Um, we have a two here. That could go like that. No, wait, we'll wait. What about the fog? The fog could go there. And then this little guy could go here. And then this guy has to go here. I think we did it. Oh. Why could I not realize the snake goes there to begin with? I swear I must have tried everything. Capsules? What do we need these for? Are we supposed to take them? I don't really like capsule pills. They have to be cherry flavored. Eric, are you still taking cough? You're, you aren't still taking children's cough syrup, are you? Well, at least we know the guy's name is Eric now. Uh, what? These capsules, he's not telling us what we have to take them, is he? Maybe if we mix them with something, we'll give us a clue. These are, pil these are pills I wouldn't want to take. Well... Um, those look like numbers. That looks like a red five. That looks like a blue three. That looks like a pink two. And that looks like a yellow one. Five, three, two, one. Okay, but how does that help us? Where? Uh, where? I mean, the only other place we have colors is this, right? Oh, maybe that's telling us the order. So these are all out of order. Maybe that's why she was telling me they're all out of order. So maybe the yellow... Did we say it was a fish or a bird? We said it was a fish and a bird. Originally, I said it was a yellow bird. Okay, so let's go with yellow bird as being position one. And then the pink plant. Oh, it doesn't matter if it's a bird or a fish. The yellow goes into the first position. So the yellow bird goes first. The pink whatever goes goes two two the pink whatever goes two so the pink 
uh, fish goes to. The blue, which is a human, goes three. And the red, which is the... That's got to be a plant because the insect is white. So the red plant then will go fifth. And you'll note there is no four. Since there is no four, that means the insect goes fourth and we can't move the insect. Okay, I think we got something here. This room has kicked my butt so many times. So, yellow bird. Fish. Human. Plant. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Ah, now I see. That's how it goes. I'm glad to hear. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. I knew it, of course. I know this way before. Hey, don't ignore me. Some kind of machine came out. Uh, fingerprint authentication device? Do we have to prove our identities now? Uh, what if the exit opens if we do it? Let's just try it out. Okay. Ow, that hurt. What the? Thought was just wanted a fingerprint. What is this? Was this some kind of trap? Dang it, I'm bleeding. That hurt. Huh? What's that sound? Maybe that means we passed the authentication? Hey, look over there. The light by the sink turned on. Okay. Time to go over by the sink, I guess. This room has been very difficult. Um... Uh, now... I'm, I'm glad we figured some things out on our own, but that... The, uh, the idea of using the, um, the tubes instead of the beakers... That got me. Are we even done yet, though? I think the power's on, but it still doesn't work. No water. Um... Huh? The green light turned on. Uh, the green light turned on. It must mean that there's power. Did anything change? Well, let's see. That thing is... It can move? Aha! Aha! So what's back here? Um... Absolutely nothing, apparently. By the way, moving with the uh, right analog stick is very, very confusing. So does water turn on now? What, it's stuck again? I think I heard a click when it stopped. Look, now the light on the equipment over there turned on. So that means we can... That means that one can be moved too? This is so confusing. That green light here turn on. We have power. Yes, now we can move it. Here we go. Okay, so they move side by side. Uh, what? Now the light's red. Did I do something wrong? Oh, uh, well, watch out. Get away from there. The pig's out. Uh, here, here we go. Uh, this thing's heavy. The smell is disgusting. <clears throat> Quit whining and move it. Didn't you want to prove that you were a man? You can do it, Eric. So right now we got a pig and formaldehyde. But we don't have a way to cut it open. And it's kind of hard to cut when you're holding it, huh? It's pretty heavy, so I don't think we can. Uh, but there was a table that we could put this on, right? All the way... Wait, can we pick up some glass? Can we not pick up glass? Oh, right there. So, the plate is in place now, but how do we cut it open? Thanks to someone, the nice broke it. I moved the thing, so I'm not touching it again. Would you just chill, Eric? Let's just look for something to replace the knife. Um, uh, can we use the uh, cover of this interview? We need to cut the, we need to cut the pig's stomach open, but I broke the knife. The machine has a drawer. Maybe something's in it. Oh, I forgot about the drawers. Huh? There's a drawer here. Uh, this is a scalpel. We can probably use it. Let's take it with us. All right, we got the scalpel, which was very, very bad to have in Virtue Last Reward. But good for us to have now. Uh, the pig's all set and I have the scalpel But where do I start cutting? Oh, for crying out Here, give me the scalpel There's a trick to it Wow, so clean Does your family own a farm, Mira? Something like that Now let's see what's inside this thing This is so gross, by the way Hey! 
we found it. It only took an hour and 14 minutes and one website lookup. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.